Hello everybody and welcome to the Yakupi Show. Today we're gonna play around with fidget spinners. You know these things became popular not too long ago but uh, I've been playing around with these since 95. Old stuff, old stuff for me. A lot of people around the world have these. It's pretty much just to kill the time in a boring meeting or in school. Or... I know tons of tricks, for example. To worry. <laughs> Almost keep an extra. <laughs> because I have played with these for 22 years. It's kind of, it's too boring for me. I, I want to make it more interesting, more dangerous. I want it to be up to Yarpy Show standards. I need to tune this up to make it more dangerous because I want to live on the edge. And here we begin. So I just decided that this will be the uh, central part of my uh, new pizza spinner. And I've got more of the plates. Okay, we got the plates right here. But of course we need to test if they are sharp enough up to Yardy Show standards. So, an apple. It's safer this way. I don't poke anybody. Catch! <laughs> <laughs> this is an apple with iron in it. Very healthy. You know how they say an apple a day keeps doctors away? Well, if you throw him with this, <laughs> I'll just take these plates, and these have, they have these little holes, put it right here, and then I use these zip ties to attach it. Kids, don't try this at home. Yeah, I guess I, I wouldn't use words safety and this fidget spinner in the same sentence. Third and final. This is a feature spinner you have to really focus to spin. <laughs> All right, our feature spinner 2.0 is ready. Only minor uh, problem with it is that now that with all the zip ties, if I put it on the table like this, it doesn't really spin. Once I place this on top of this and I spin it, if it's in balance, it should stay there. <laughs> like we say, dudes are safety first, but that's not the same thing in, in the Arpi show. So now let's see if it's any good. It really cuts it! I think this is the best thing that happened to uh, fidget spinners <laughs> ever since 95 when I invented it. But I honestly think that now that we are at this state, we need something to make it spin so that it won't stop spinning. Okay, let's do a transition. Okay, welcome back. First of all, we needed to change the camera. It's out of battery, it's been taking so long. Also, we are still at the same stage. <laughs> I figured that the only problem with this right now is that it's really, you know, you can't spin it. But this is the key element of our fidget spinner. Now this, <laughs> this will make it interesting. First you remove the middle part. We're gonna use the hot glue. I'm gonna jam this. We could have gone with the uh, cheaper steel bearing, but instead we destroyed. <laughs> now we're gonna put this back in here. You need something like this. You put it through in the middle. You put it here. And now, now it's up to your Peugeot standard. Fix the spinner. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's go cut something else. Onks jotain, mitä mä saisin leikata? So you can use this in many ways. Gardening. Oh wow. That's how you cut the tape. But so let's cut it, cut it open. Winner! It sounds like that. Yeah, can you open a banana with a fidget spinner? <laughs> yes, you can. Can you make a salad with a fidget spinner? <laughs> Yes, you can. Can you slice a pizza with a pizza spinner? Yes, you can. <laughs> can you clean up with a pizza spinner? No, you can't. So it's very sexy to have only one thumb, Yadla. It's very sexy to have. <laughs> there you have it, the most advanced fidget spinner of all times. It can't get any better than this, it's all downhill from here. So, thank you for watching the Yarpy Show. Uh, come back for more. Now that I look at it, one more thing. Can you use a fidget spinner as a throwing star? Yes, you can. Can you open a bottle of mineral water with the fidget spinner? Yes, you can.